I am getting so tired of this cold weather and I cannot wait for it to start warming up. But stay tuned to find out what fragrances I chose to wear throughout the week. Hey, what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure to follow my Instagram page. But that's right, another week means another weekly fragrance rotation. I know I did take a week or two break from doing these, but I'm gonna try to keep these going because I enjoy making them and you guys seem to really enjoy watching these as well. But if you are not familiar with this series and you are new, I pretty much go over what fragrances I chose to wear on each day how many sprays, the kind of weather, and of course, if that fragrance got any compliments or not. So let's hop right into Sunday. All right, so for Sunday, it was in like the mid 30s, a cloudy day, and I actually put out a brand new fragrance into my collection and a fragrance that I just kind of turned my head towards because I wasn't a fan of the sport flankers at all. And that is of course, Chanel Allure Homme, the classic from the late 90s. And I gotta say right off the bat, I much prefer the original over like uh, Allure Homme Sport O Extreme. This one is so, so much better, even though that gets most of the hype. But with this, you get a burst of lemon, you get this like fruity peach and this very nice vanilla dry down in here. I did do six sprays of this, didn't really do much, but in the evening, I actually did go out to dinner with my mom and stuff. And she was like, wow, who smells really, really good? Had her smell this and that's exactly what it is. It definitely does have that kind of old school, uh, masculine, gentlemanly kind of cologne-ish vibe about it. But I absolutely love this one and cannot wait to get more wearings out of it. Okay, so on Monday, it was in the high 30s, another cloudy, gloomy day. But on Monday, I was actually at work for the majority of the day, and I actually put out a oud-based fragrance from a very luxury house. And of course, I'm talking about Louis Vuittons, and that's Nove Monde. If you love that kind of dirty, barnyardy oud, you absolutely love this fragrance because it opens up with a burst of it, and then it dries down to this very nice, rugged, black leather note. And then in the very base, you get this kind of powdery, chocolatey cacao note as well. Just all in all, beautifully blended together, and as me as being an oud lover, this one definitely nails it right on the head. On that day to work though, I did do six sprays of Nove Monde. Didn't get any compliments from any coworkers or anything like that because this one is pretty daring and not everybody's gonna like this fragrance. It is on that very unique, complex, sort of um, out of the box vibe with it. It's not your typical designer fragrance by any means. But for me, I love oud, I love barnyardy oud and Louis Vuitton did a phenomenal job with this one. Okay, so on Tuesday, also in the high 30s, also at work as well, and I put out a clone of a fragrance that I've never smelled, but this one got a ton of hype from this clone house, and that is, of course, Dua's 100 Whispers. Now, this fragrance is actually vaulted in the Dua line. Sometimes they unlock the vault, so I highly recommend checking this one out if you can, especially at the price, but this is cloning No Chanae's 100 Silent Ways, which is a fruity floral fragrance, which a lot of guys probably will be put off from because it definitely does lean maybe a little bit more feminine than masculine or even unisex, but, and just the way this stuff is blended together with that peach and the white florals is just so phenomenal. On that day though, I did do actually eight sprays of 100 Whispers. I did get a compliment when I was work, walking into work in the morning, there was this girl behind me, she's like, wow, is that you I smell? I pretty much said, yeah, and I, she said, it smells so good. And she said it does have a kind of a simple vibe about it. Then I asked if she would wear it because obviously this is a little bit more feminine leaning. She said that she would. So yeah, such a great release. Just so, something so addicting about 100 Whispers and the performance actually blew me away. I wasn't ex expecting this to perform as good as it did. But with Duas, I've never really had any performance issues whatsoever from the ones that I own at least. So yeah, 100 Whispers is a phenomenal release. And if you're a guy, do not be scared of this one. So on Wednesday, it was in the mid 40s, also a cloudy day and also at work for the majority of the day as well. And I put out yet again, another brand new fragrance in my collection and the first time wearing it, just like the previous three, I feel like I'm pretty much wearing a new fragrance every single day, to be honest. But this one, I wasn't the biggest fan of, and that is of course, Initios. This is Mystic Experience, which honestly, you don't really hear much talk about this fragrance from the house. It usually gets um, overshadowed by, of course, Oud for Greatness, Rehab, Must Therapy, and many, many more. But this one, however, 
I could see why it is overlooked. It's not that kind of memorable. It doesn't really stand out to me, to be honest, and it is very timid and shy. This does not perform whatsoever on my skin, at least. So it's not what I was expecting from an initio. You expect like kind of outgoing, unique creations from this house. And this one, however, is not that. I did do actually eight sprays of Mystic Experience to work. And one of my coworkers in the morning was like, is that you I smell? And I just said, it's always me. And she just sort of laughed. So she didn't really compliment it or anything like that. But the scent profile is very bass heavy. There's no really top notes, no middle notes. It's just pretty much bass heavy and doesn't really project that much at all. Like I said, it kind of has a very soft kind of a latte or cappuccino vibe about it with the coffee and some amber as well. But I also had this guy at work who is actually in the fragrances also. I smelled him, I complimented him and asked him what he was wearing. He said it was a fragrance from Happy Land, which surprised me. I definitely need to check out Happy Land. I've heard some great things about that indie house. So maybe this year I'll dive into that house as well. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions from Happy Land and I'll be sure to check those out. But that's what I wore to Wednesday for work is Mystic Experience. All right, so on Thursday, it was the hottest day of the week in the high 40s, but it was a rainy day, so it wasn't that enjoyable, of course. But I did decide to pull out one of my oldest fragrances in my collection and one of the most complimented, and that is, of course, Yves Saint Laurent's Why. This is the Eau de Parfum. And man, I absolutely love this one. I kind of forgot about it because I haven't worn it in such a long time but you definitely have this very nice green fruity apple note in here, along with some aromatic qualities from sage and such. But honestly, this is a phenomenal blue fragrance and by far my favorite flanker from the entire line over the EDT, over Eau Fresh, over the Love Parfum, the EDP is just so, so good. But I did do eight sprays of Y EDP to work on that day, got no compliments, but this one is definitely extremely crowd pleasing and I cannot see anybody not really enjoying this scent profile because it's just so easy going, so versatile and just so lovable. But yeah, that's what I chose to wear to work on Thursday is Y EDP. So on Friday, it was very cold, like in the low 30s and we actually got quite a bit of snow as well. And of course, when snow is falling, this is one of my go-tos without a doubt, and that is Mason Margiela's By the Fireplace. One of the most warming, cozy, comforting fragrances money can buy. It literally smells like chestnuts roasting on a fire. Very smoky, very vanilla heavy, and just so, so good. On that day though, I did do six sprays to pretty much run errands. I had to get a lot of stuff done on Friday, so Got no compliments either on that day, but wow. Every time in the snow when I'm wearing this one, it's like a personal fireplace that's just keeping me warm throughout the entire day. That is how good this one is. And I highly recommend checking this one out if you live somewhere that you do get a lot of snow. It's very, very cold. This is perfect for that. Wrapping the week off on Saturday. So on Saturday, also blistering cold in the high 20s. So it was the coldest day of the week. So I pretty much had to pull out this fragrance because I just got it in. I had to test it and I was so curious on how this one would wear on skin. And it was like my own personal sunshine on a very cold, cloudy day. And that is the brand new launch, Mancera's Melody of the Sun. Like I said, this one literally smells like sunshine in a bottle. It just makes me so, so happy. And I cannot wait for more people to check this one out. I did do three sprays of Melody of the Sun because I didn't really do much on Saturday. Just kind of chilled at home, got some work done and pretty much watch UFC in the evening because if you know me, I'm a huge MMA fan. Let me know down below if you watch the fights on Saturday, but that's what I chose to wear. This one, however, does turn slightly feminine in the dry down with all the florals and stuff, but the opening is just so, so good with this. Might be the new hyped fragrance within the house of Mancera, so yeah, definitely one that you would want to check out. If you love kind of uplifting, happy fragrances, this is definitely one you should check out and you actually might really enjoy, but that's going to do it for my weekly fragrance rotation. Let me know down below the fragrances you guys chose to wear throughout the entire week. And as always, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like and comment down below and I'll see all of you here in my next video. Take care, everybody.